Hey, how's it going? Uh, so, you just got a new Canon DSLR camera, maybe a T3i like I have, and you want to figure out how to shoot footage, but you want to have a really cool cinematic look when you get in and actually start editing it. So something that you can really distance yourself from that handy cam look. And so this tutorial is just kind of an overview of some of the good resources out there available for you, um, mostly free. Um, and then some good tricks to use uh, through your camera lens to get yourself the ability to really make those colors pop and make that video really looking like a cinematic quality video. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to download the CineStyle profile. Um, what this does is this takes your footage and it basically flattens it and gives you the ability to, in post, um, really pop those colors out using curves and ProCamp and other um, I use Adobe Premiere Pro other uh, tools like that in Adobe Premiere so uh, what you need to do is go to this website um, it's the TechnicolorCineStyle.com and fill out this brief form here and agree to the terms and you'll be able to download this uh, CineStyle profile so the next thing you want to do is uh, hook up your DSLR camera and bring up your utility. Uh, make sure that your camera is set to manual and you're going to go into camera settings, remote shooting. And so you'll see it'll say manual up here. Don't worry about any of this. Um, and what you're really worried about is registering that new user defined style, the Cine style product you just downloaded. So go in and hit register. I've already got it. Uh, installed here in my user defined one but you need to go for purposes of showing you find that Technicolor CineStyle .pf2 click open and now you're gonna see the fact the sharpness is basically off contrast is turned down you may actually want to turn the saturation down a little bit um, but you're gonna then hit OK and now you basically have the uh, firmware installed on your camera. Now I've got my camera menu open and to make sure that you're shooting you're gonna go over here to where you see picture style and I have it already set to user defined one. It's not gonna say cine style um, on that screen. You're gonna have to go in and actually click on that piece of firmware. So if you set it correctly um, in your camera utility You'll, on that secondary menu, you'll see CineStyle. And when you click on it, this home screen will show you user defined one. Now, if you want to um, go in and see the information to make sure that it's all set the right way, you can see here I have my sharpness at zero, uh, contrast is turned down, and I actually went in and manually turned my saturation down just a little bit just because it's easier to do that in post afterwards. So that's pretty much it. You now have the uh, CineStyle set in your menu. And now all you need to do is just go out and get some test footage. So here's some test footage I took. This is just from a cafe. You can see the blacks really coming out and that flower really popping. Um, and then this is, uh, I really wanted to bring out kind of almost a horror look. And this is just uh, bringing out some greens and dark colors with, uh, with our dog here, um, Cosmo. So that's it. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about Getting started with CineStyle, um, stay tuned for a couple other tutor tutorials that will show you how to do more with your footage in Premiere before you finally export it uh, as a final product. Thanks for watching.